past dark doing abandoned stuff in Gary, Indiana. So much random stuff. Frustrating and creepy at the same time. See, because there it goes again. I don't understand. Like, what am I doing? You hear that? I actually want to get out of here. I know what that sounded like. Okay, so this time we're gonna go to a place that was kind of like a school, but at the same time, not really. This was kind of like more of a community center than anything, like a community service center. They like helped people of literally all ages, no matter what your age is. They gave you like an education or they gave you like job training or job preparedness. So it was kind of like an educational place, but it was also kind of like a career readiness place in a way for just about anyone. But first, first I need to try to find a way in. I really don't know much about it. I couldn't find any decent info. I just know that it's probably been abandoned pretty recently. This place is like a big square, so there should be plenty of ways to possibly get in if I'm lucky enough. I found what we need. A window, which is broken. Well, I'm in. That counts for some. There's some weird decoration here, but before I do anything, I'm gonna get all these stupid little spiky stickers off me because those weeds were full of them. Yeah, we got it. Okay. All right, well, immediately this is the gym. I was wondering what that was because I can tell by the shape of the building that it's basically a big square, but there's also like another square of space in the middle of it. And this is that square of space, I guess. It's like a big model house. What's that doing in here? Look at that. The hoops are actually chains. All right, at least this flashlight works. This is the one that literally kept turning off on me in the last episode by itself. Now maybe that's just its way of saying it needs to charge, but I would really prefer it to not just randomly turn off when I need it. Here's the other side. This would be a cafeteria. I can see those foldable tables up in the wall over there. And there's a bowling pin. Not a real one, but like a kid's play one. All right, so that explains what the big square in the middle of the building is. It's cafeteria and gym. So that means the outer square going around it should be all classrooms. That's a golf club holding thing right there, isn't it? It ain't got no clubs though. Whoa, look at all the shoes. Just wanna take a look around the room first. Sometimes I walk into rooms, take a look at something, but then leave the rest of it in pitch black without looking. I'm always worried someone's gonna be lurking if I do that, but these shoes caught my eye. They're all like ladies' heels. Did you hear that little car honk? I want to be careful with the light. It's so much random stuff. This looks like a nursery though. Look, there's a crib over there. There's a little baby rocking thing right there. Sorry, there's just a car moving out there. There, I really don't want to shine this towards the windows, but I see like a lot of baby stuff in here. Okay. Now here looks to be more of the main building. Wow, there are actually a few different windows you could get in. At least I have options. Look at that. The old style swiveling chalkboard. I see old clothes and stuff. I don't know, for some reason I'm really on edge. Maybe it's because we're out past dark doing abandoned stuff in Gary, Indiana. Of all places.
place is... Oh my god, no. There's no way. It just did it again. If anyone saw my last video, you'll know this flash. I literally did this to me twice. I don't understand. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing that's causing it to do that? I'm not pressing anything. It's not like it's losing power, because when it comes back on, it's just full strength again. I, I really... And there it goes. It can't just be a charging thing, because then it would just slowly get dimmer, wouldn't it? It wouldn't just turn off. Back on again. I don't get it. Oh, my God. That is so, like... Frustrating and creepy at the same time. See, because there it goes again. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. I just bought this thing like three days ago. If it does it one more time, I'm just going to switch to the other one. Like it's not as strong, but at least it stays on. And, and speak of the devil, you know. All right. This works. Just stick with Old Faithful. There's a lab. I swear every old school lab had tables like these. These kind of octagon or hexagon shaped things. And here's a bunch of other little sciencey materials like chemical bottles and little beaker tray, or not beaker, but uh, cylinder trays. Hanging news clippings bunch of kids toys and like baby stuff something shattered there what shattered a lot of sparkly glass what was that I don't see what could have broken there's tons of little kids toys that's probably where that little house in the gym came from it was probably in here the ceiling has collapsed in this area. You see that? See, I kind of, I kind of thought this was back outside, but it's another room, and the ceiling has come down. It's kind of weird how there's glass back out to the hall from some of these rooms. Just a lot of random furniture. I've never seen right angled desks like this, like you'd sit there, you could put stuff in that compartment, you'd have space in front of you and space to your left. You hear that? Why'd that sound like a cop's radio? I know what that sounded like. <sighs> I actually want to get out of here, legit. Like that? I don't want to deal with that. I want out. Why? Why did I hear that? And where did I hear it from? I'm surrounded by building, I think. Yeah, I'm surrounded by building. This is pointless. Gotta go back in and retrace my steps. Okay, good. I know. I know how to get out from here. I mean, I don't have time to look at anything, but that's kind of cool over there. I just need to get out of here. I can't remember where. Yes, it was this. Okay. Just get me off this premises. Okay. The coast is clear out here. I know I probably only saw like half of that whole place, but I really don't care. I'm gonna explain to you in the car if you didn't quite catch all that. All right, so like 
if none of that made sense to you, I'm just gonna try to run back what happened real quick. So basically, I was going about my business, doing my thing, and then I stopped and paused for a second. And I swear I thought I heard what sounded like muffled talking. Do you hear that? From like beyond the wall, but maybe from like the outside of the place. But I swear it sounded like the kind of muffled talking that came over like a walkie talkie or something. So that immediately made me think of like cops or something. So I like retraced my steps, found the window and got back out of there. I really only think I saw like a third or half of the place, but like I just didn't want to risk it because it's like I was already sketched out to the max. Like maybe j just because being here in like Gary, Indiana of all places at night after dark, you know, it's just like, I don't know, it gave me the heebie-jeebies and I wanted out of there real bad, so... I hope you enjoyed uh, what I did see of that place, and um, I'll catch you in the next one, I guess.